Mr. Nitin felicitated as Economic Times Brand Icon 2021 awardee, visionary serial entrepreneur with laser focus on integrity, innovation, and leadership. So he was highlighted in yesterday's Economic Times Entrepreneur. And let's welcome Mr. Nitin on stage to talk about PSD and noise barrier for Metro Rail. So good morning, everyone. So let me start with this, that uh, presentation will not be, you know, like a, too much of a technical, but it would be more of an emotion filled with passion and how I started my journey and why I started with this journey. So that's what you would see. And uh, today is a Nationals Brothers Day. So I would wish all my friends here as a happy Brothers Day. So the secret of handling change to focus on progress, if you can make progress on a regular basis, then you will feel alive. And that's how I believe myself. So uh, before actually I go to this timeline, uh, let me uh, tell a little story about the product which I'm going to talk about. The two products which we, uh, I'm going to talk about is one is a platform screen door and the other one is a sound barrier which is actually going to be used in both metros and railways. So just a small timeline in this case if you see that we have uh, started in 1985 so we already completed more than 36 years and that's when I've started myself. Uh, this particular company and with a vision uh, basically you know to bring a change in everyone's life and that's what the change would be uplifting your life that's what actually I wanted to do and that's what my mission is so uh, after starting in 1986 in about 2002 when the Konkan Railway was, uh, my, my journey in uh, mass transit started in 2002, when Konkan Railway wanted to start Skybus, and I was the channel partner with Konkan Railway, and we had actually done a Skybus door which was 8 meter long and 8 meter height. That was done by us, which was opening in only 4 seconds. So that was what we had achieved. At the same time, we had also done the Skybus station door. So that was alignment with Skybus and Skybus door. That is what we started with in 2002. So uh, unfortunately, the Skybus did not go forward, but that experience helped us when in Gujarat, the first BRTS was supposed to be started in 2007, uh, 2006. So that is the time we had displayed on Jhansi Kirani, that bus stop in Ahmedabad, our product with a BRTS and which was successful and we never looked back since then. So uh, 2013 was a story when uh, uh, because of the sound pollution, I decided to uh, get the solution and that was Kulawa, that company in Germany who are our uh, partners in Technocrat Kulawa Infrastructure Private Limited. Then uh, in 2019, we did uh, BRTS projects all over across India, but one of the milestone was uh, having a half white platform screen door, which we had put it in uh, Hobli Dharwad. So now almost about since 2018, when it was inaugurated by Vice President uh, of India, and it is still in working in a perfectly less than 0.05% failure. So that's what we achieved in platform screen doors on a bus stop. Of course, uh, the standard PSD which we spoke about and uh, this all innovation took about and the, my aim was to reach where we are today, that in 2022, as everybody must have passed through, that is a platform screen door and that's what we actually, uh, you know, seen this is what, where we are today. That is what uh, I'm going to talk about. So now, uh, talking about a story of a platform screen door. Uh, uh, friends, uh, when I started in 2000 and, uh, uh, you know, rather 1985, it was more about uh, products in hygiene. And the products, whatever we started, are the driven by the people. And they said that you should do this and you should do that. So the kind of product range we have is a, a very big range. But starting from uh, hygiene products, when I uh, was, uh, I came to Mumbai, I was not from a Mumbai. 
I was from Pune, I came to Mumbai, and uh, one fine day in 1985, I was at the Dada station, and uh, you know, all everybody has this habit, I was standing on a platform like this, and there was a friend on the other side, and he said hi, and I said okay, coming. I jumped below, uh, there was two tracks, the moment I jumped, I found that the train is coming from the, one is going upside and one is going downside. So I had no option but to lie down if I have to survive. And that's what I did in between two tracks. I was lying down and almost uh, totally lying down and just put my little head up to see am I survived or I'm gone. And the trains went away and like uh, Mumbai people, they said, are kya hirogiri kar rahe? Kya shooting chal rahe? Kya, kya chal rahe? And somehow I survived. The story is, I realize how feeble is the life if, you know, like this is happening and there must be something we need to do so that this sort of thing should stop. There has to be safety. Apart from that, we have seen a lot of people falling in between the gap of uh, platform and the train. And uh, unfortunate part, it was too, I was too new and uh, had no resources to think about a platform screen door then. But today, I'm happy that I'm trying to do something uh, for the uh, people and that's something my passion and that's how the platform screen door has started. So that was the story about the platform screen door. So as I mentioned about uh, starting with the Skybus, this is the photograph of a Skybus uh, station and a Skybus door. Then we went to uh, BRTS, so this was the first BRTS, so it was inaugurated in 2007-8 by uh, the then uh, Chief Minister who is our beloved Prime Minister now, uh, Sri Narendra Modi ji. So this is how we started with the full height doors on the bus stops in BRTS. Uh, from Ahmedabad, we went to Surat. And of course, from Surat, then to Pune. Then, uh, of course, full light doors. Again, I can say this is uh, basically a video which you can see. Is proud to be part of the first BRTS project in India at Ahmedabad in the state of Gujarat. So, as you can see, the, both the doors are aligned with each other and they open only when the bus door opens and the bus stop door open. So that's how it started the journey. Then came uh, the milestone of Hubli BRTS where we had installed half height uh, platform screen doors. So this was the first of its kind in India and uh, we are proud to mention that that has been successfully operational for last, I mean almost about three years. As you can see, the bus is just come, aligning with bus stop and bus door. So this was total uh, indigenous design uh, done by us and developed. From there, uh, in uh, mass transit, uh, we found that, uh, you know, uh, in India, there are a lot of people, though there is a dedicated corridor, they are misusing this corridor as and when there is a traffic jam and they enter into the uh, dedicated corridor and then it was getting into a lot of accidents. So in order to stop that, so we installed these uh, gates which were actually disallowing people without being, having the, you know, those who are private vehicles were not allowed as we can see how that actually works. So as the bus stops, the door starts closing and the gate starts opening. This is actual uh, video of uh, Surat uh, Municipal Corporation. And the bus goes away and the gate starts closing. So uh, I just want to say that we are a technology company. We believe in innovation and 
you will see that everything, whatever we have done in terms of uh, BRTS's innovation, and there is hardly any company in India has done that so far. In BRTS, we have installed uh, almost about 4,000 plus doors since last more than 12 and a half years. That's what, uh, you know, given us the encouragement to get into the next level of a platform screen doors. So we are also, uh, some people also wanted a different, apart from gates, they wanted the boom barriers to be integrated and that's what also we have done. You can see this as well. So in this case, in fact, in Hubli Darwad, there are two different routes. One is uh, for a uh, you know, fast lane and uh, one is a slow lane. So the bus in the second lane is going fast. It's only halting on some few stations. So we have also done that way. So that's how there are two boom barriers which we have seen. It is again with an RFID. So this is what it is. Uh, this is where we are today, as I mentioned, in terms of uh, platform screen doors, and uh, that we can see the photograph which is there, and the actual product is at the entrance, and I am sure every must, everyone must have used that. So where uh, these platform screen doors can be used, you know, metro lines all over India, uh, Indian railways, high-speed rail corridor, RRTS, BRTS, so this is where it can be used and uh, uh, as I mentioned even yesterday that we uh, are now ready. What we need is a guidance uh, in terms of the officials who can guide us that how do we can qualify and uh, use this Make in India product or Made in India, whatever you can say, for our own use. So from uh, one product going to the another product, uh, the second is uh, a sound barrier. Now, uh, predominantly we have seen the noise pollution is a silent killer and uh, unfortunately there is not much of awareness in India. Some of the, some NGOs like Awaz, which is Mumbai based and few more have started creating the awareness regarding uh, noise pollution. Uh, but what I found uh, that uh, the noise pollution awareness is uh, one thing and having a solution for that is another thing. And that's where I came uh, from, again in this case, uh, to get me into this product, because this is a totally mechanical product, it doesn't have any motor or electronics or anything, and we are predominantly technology company. But uh, uh, when, uh, uh, about up to few years back, uh, in Mumbai, uh, I was staying on the very much Western Express Highway, if some people have seen that Western Express Highway in Mumbai is too much of noise pollution. And to the extent that sometimes uh, if a guest were coming to meet us and the moment they would come out of the lift and they hear that sound and they used to say, boss, we can't sit here, let's go somewhere else. That's the kind of pollution we are actually going through. But unfortunately, there was nothing happening. So um, I decided again in this case, what I can do in terms of solution because awareness and problem everybody is talking about, what about solution and that's where the product of sound barrier came and uh, then um, uh, I uh, decided to contact a German company called uh, Kulhava and uh, when I went there I realized that the kind of standards they are having and they are one of the best. I seen the installations which are 30 years old in Germany, got the training and then decided to get into this product, which as you can see the Germans, being Germans, they have uh, visited many a times in India to see the quality uh, about the product because there are certain standards, there are EN standards which they wanted to check that whether we can adhere or not. So the point here was, uh, you know, seeing this sound pollution which is there uh, rampant on roads, highways, bridges and every place. Just to let everyone know that Supreme Court Directive says, that's a guideline, it says that any road or a bridge which crosses through, uh, you know, uh, the population, whether it's uh, residential or commercial, must have sound barriers. And this goes also for the metro line, because more than anything else, metros are never planned. They are been getting through in our, uh, uh, you know, what you can say, cities, 
uh, by virtue of whatever possible route they are able to get. So you will find some places the metros are passing almost uh, handshake distance and that's actually uh, quite difficult. It uh, actually has not only uh, sound pollution, uh, vibration, but also uh, some places the stations are so close that uh, privacy also is at a stake. And that's where we thought about and we are happy to mention that uh, in this case, uh, we, uh, after having a collaboration with Germany, uh, CRRI, as everybody must be knowing, uh, which is a local body in Delhi, which is India's premium, uh, one of the uh, laboratory. So CRRI has developed the technology, which is for the, uh, especially for metro trains, which has low, medium, and high frequency. And because of the frequency, because unlike on the roads, for the metros, you need to have a sound barrier which can kill this frequency, and that's what CRR has developed. And as we can see, uh, we are the only Indian company as of now in the world to have this patented technology of a CRRI to install these sound barriers on the metro. And I hope uh, very soon the DMRC and other uh, you know institute or consultants take a note of this and get this thing installed so that the human beings or anyone who was uh, staying close by can really have a sigh of relief or a peaceful sleep. And that's what our uh, motto is. That's what I've been talking about. So some of the different products I will just zip through fast. We have any kind of products for any kind of spaces, be it animals, be it, I mean, we have done an, uh, sound barriers for the bird sanctuary uh, near uh, Karnala in Maharashtra. We have done uh, sound barriers for, in Ahmedabad for animals in uh, Kankriya Zoo. Of course, apart from that, we have done uh, sound barriers for some of the jungles as well, apart from the human beings I'm talking about. Some of our barrier installation across India, just I will zip through as we can see, Sayan Hindamata Mumbai, uh, Kankriya Zoo Ahmedabad, which I mentioned. Uh, we have done for Tata Steel, which is eight meter height noise barrier for the factory as well. This is uh, in uh, Thane, Mumbai. This is Dharwad bus depot as well, we have done. So we can also have for depots, a uh, different sound barriers for uh, metros, for the residential bungalows of Mr. Firodia. Some more noise barriers in Thana. Uh, residential, uh, before just starting uh, any uh, building construction, before piling work starts, there has to be a sound barrier, and that is what we did in Mumbai. And uh, after that, only they allowed to do the buildings. Some more installation. This is Karnala Bird Sanctuary. Of course, now this is the barrier which we are proposing for the metro, which is uh, CRRI technology, which is ready. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, in this visit, I could meet uh, DMRC people and see how we can incorporate this uh, for the metro. So this is a lightweight at the same time, uh, reduces the noise. And we can see, uh, of course, different places where we can use this sound barriers apart from the metros, another thing, NAI, MMRD, MSRDC, PWT, Railway Authority, and many more. So uh, just a little uh, uh, knowledge about the noise barrier, especially for the metro rail. Lightweight design, weight is 15 kg per square meter, 20 years life. Noise reduction is 15 to 18 dB in standard condition. It depends, it can increase if you increase the height. And uh, NRC value is 0.96 to 98. That is very good to absorb the noise. Zero maintenance. This is uh, reused and it is just like a, we are promoting a green building technology wherein we are use, uh, reusing the plastic and creating a, a, you know absorption quality out of that. I have also been uh, uh, fortunate enough to share a dash with uh, uh, Nitin Gadkari ji when he had spoken about in Nagpur, uh, the mission is to uh, reduce the noise and this kind of stickers were made and they are being uh, put in on each and every vehicles entering into the Nagpur. 
of course, spatial noise barriers for uh, high-speed rail corridors as well. So German is one of the only company having this technology, wherein we have a special kind of a sound barriers for high-speed rail corridor. Remember, uh, you know, especially uh, for a high-speed rail corridor, when a train is passing through almost at the you know 300 kilometers per hour speed, and it's going through a tunnel, and if there's no barriers, it is going to be disastrous for the people staying around. So I would uh, urge the consultants or people who are staying, being here, they can take a note. We are ready to come and give a presentation. In fact, even our German counterpart is always said they can anytime come to India and give this further uh, knowledge about this product. As I mentioned, the uh, different dB levels at uh, different height, it can reduce. As we can see, up to 3 meter when we are putting, we are getting uh, almost about 21 dB to the maximum level of 30 dB reduction. And some places, we are giving a guaranteed 30 dB reduction. We are the only company who can give such a sound barriers. So I end with rise above your imaginary limits. And that's what we, I uh, continuously try to do. In India, we all can make it happen, whether it's uh, make in India or made in India. Thank you all. Thank you for your guidance and suggestions. And uh, we appreciate that. Uh, I would just like to end by saying we are make in India, making India. We are Indians. And we expect all the Indians to give us the support to take this thing forward. That's what it is. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. May I please request Mr. Rajesh Agarwal, consultant, former member, Rolling Stock Railway Board, Ministry of Railways, to please join us on stage to present the memento to Mr. Nitin Munot. Thank you so much, sir.